Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today and today we've got a box arrived from another collector um, originally um, he had to make space uh, in his collection and um, he had to pull some of his collection down which is one thing collectors don't like to be doing and um, basically I asked if this one was available to, to purchase of him and he said yes yeah. He didn't really want to get rid of it first, but I think money, in the end of the day, he did need the money for other things, like a lot of people sometimes do. And uh, so I made a fairly decent offer on it. It was a good offer. Um, I didn't rip him off at all on it. It was a good offer for it. But um, so this one originally, he got from another collector, originally. So. Uh, and this is in fact a fairly rare uh, Hoover Junior as well. And this one is one of the ones that Cole's actually been looking out for ever since he's been collecting. So actually, uh, so we've got to be gentle with that one mate, because I don't know how it is. I don't know if it's in two bits. So uh, we'll just see how well the, the courier has um, bought this one. They do not normally come in smaller boxes, but he has packaged it well, as you can see. Um, so, well, first, first let's say thank you very much. He knows who he is, the one that sent it to us. He might be watching the video, he may not. Um, you might recognise it um, when you uh, open this one up. But it's a fairly complete machine. Because these do come up sometimes, but um, for instance, the bag on it. Yeah. So this is a very common fault that actually happens to these bags. It's where the uh, the little Hoover emblem gets washed off. I've actually done it myself, but we're not bothered about that because it's actually a lovely. Machine, so you may recognize this one now because 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 you might go and have a look and say, Oh, yeah, it's so and so. But yes, this so I think I know who's one this one was originally. And I was always thinking, Well, I'm not bothered about the uh emblem because it looks fine about it, really. But it is the original bag. Uh, we don't need tools mate because you've got about three or four sets of tools but it is in a fairly so what we'll do now we'll build this one up now and uh it we shouldn't have to do anything at all with this one so yeah be gentle with that one mate we don't want to break the bulb in this one So very pleased to have this one actually to actually um, possibly complete one of Cole's start searcher collections. So it is absolutely in lovely condition. So what we'll do now we'll build this one up and we'll see how nicely this one goes. Well, here we have this is a U1040. Um, it does have the like I said this bit here has been washed off. This is a mistake. Um, I've even done that myself on um, this on another one like similar to this but this is a U1040 this one is fairly rare because it has the original brown bag it's like a plastic sized bag and um, we're just going to get the, the rating plate on this one so it has so this one is the dirt searcher which matches the U1036 which was the uh, first of the high power range now interestingly enough as well the u1036 i think they did a the early ones had like this plasticky bag like this one and then the later ones the last ones they did actually had a uh a clothy sort of bag but this is the one that calls me after because it's got these it's got the bag is almost the same material as the u1016 which was the 1976 um first time 
they use the top fill. This one also is a top fill machine. I've actually put a fiber bag in there, but that's mainly because um, this is a SIBO uh, replica bag. I'm using these now to stop the better filtration on it mainly. So they're quite cheap to get hold of and they do fit quite loosely actually. So this one is a, I'll get the, uh, the rating sticker on it. So I have, so this one is a, you turn it off mate. It's a U1040, uh, so it's January, April 1981. So this is a 300 watt one. This one um, must have been one of the last ones of this style because I know for a fact that the early, I think at the end of 1981, they introduced the U1108, which was the practically the similar one to this one, um, but had a cloth bag with it. So, uh, and a different style of uh, slider. So we're gonna put, put this one on number three for this rug. We don't wanna strain this one too much. So it's got the, uh, actually been after one of these the u 10 40s for a very long time actually can we all the spills at the capture yeah as long as we don't vacuum anywhere near where you've been spilling it no, so we're back. just I'm back the door. all right we want to blow this one up mate i know we've got spare parts Here for it, it but... so this has a a you click it down once Well, it's run really well, as I expected, really. Um, so this one is actually one that Cole's been out for a very long time. It's a fairly rare machine. He actually wanted the one with the rubber-sized dark brown bag. I actually do like the design. It was the first time they used on the dirt search of this top bit, which must have been a deluxe uh, feature. Are you showing the cart or not? Yeah, so... Uh, very pleased, won't have to do too much for this one. I might do a little bit of a mess test for this one or something. But it won't need touching like that. And what I do actually do need to buy actually some sort of flat belts from really. Because he's got a few of these now. Um, so yeah, so he has got the the U1036 to actually match this one. So um, he has now got the Dirt Searcher. The first high powered Hoover dirt searcher that they actually come out with. Um, so, like I say, I can't remember what colour this one would have been originally. Probably like a, a black or white colour, maybe. So, what do you say now, Kyle? What do you say now? Bye. Yeah, and don't do that, mate, because you'll blow up that one. Bye for now, and please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. Bye for now.